how do you patch critical infrastructure? And it's a, and it's a huge gap in our industry, no, no question, which is the reason that architecture has to be the way it is. So you, you're you using Kepware to talk to mo is, to all the devices that you can, I, you actually, I think you said, there's no device that you've found so far that Kepware can't talk to, right? I think you're the one who actually said that. Yep. What are you using? Yep. What, what what OPC clients? So obviously, are, are you using ThingWorks? Are you using Ignition? Are you using like what what platform are you using to communicate or to, to the to Kep server and consume from the OPC server? Or well, how are you is, handling? This, this is where we start merging into the Walker Reynolds landscape where we built our own. Um, so we're we're using the the IoT gateway on Kep server. We're just throwing everything out to the cloud. Um, because we're a large enough corporation that we've got negotiated services uh, with the large vendors that for us, consuming cloud resources is not that bad a lot. yet, right? Um, we still are very much in the early stages of things. Now, from an architecture standpoint, we're also doing our data ops in the cloud, which I I can see that coming back down to an edge application at some point, right? We've not reached that kind of that that peak of, of data throughput that we actually would need to bring some of it back yet, but it's there. You know, we know where that wall is. We know we'll eventually hit it. Um, so I know there's other tools that you've talked about. I'm, I won't mention the names, but I know who they are. I knew them when they were three people uh, as that organization and they know the one you like. Um, yep. So um, that that is very much on our radar. Uh, we very much have already trialed that stuff out. We just haven't reached kind of that critical mass to need it per se and, and justify those expenditures. But for us, we'll grab the data, we throw it out to the cloud, we do all our data ops transformations, everything out in the cloud in Azure functions um, and, and you know other functions that we have out there. And then we transmit that data into either a data lake or some sort of table storage. And then we consume it into other applications as we need to, you know, other uh, so, you know graphical displays yeah. or other things, power bi um, or, or our yeah or our own internal software that we've built so we've we've built our own oee software that we're kind of it we're we're transforming it into a mes light right you know we're never going to be a full mes organization but it's one of the tools in our toolbox that we definitely need to hit um, it's oee and and kind of a few of the the um, the ancillary descriptions of things around oee that you need um, like quality and scrap and all that fun stuff that you get into. What do you, what do you mean when you say MES, uh, you're talking about MES, what do you mean by MES. you'll never be a full MES organization? We, like what, we, what is that? I'm just curious. Sure. So we are, again, you guys have kind of hit it. We're a global organization. We're also a Scandinavian organization, which means we're very decentralized. Um, I don't have one boss I have to report to. I got 120 that I got to chase when I'm, I need to get a topic off the ground. So there are different aspects and maturity of where they are on their production scales. So we don't necessarily want to go all the way down into the SCADA control layer of an org of their organization, right? You know, that's not where we are. Um, right. We will advise on the SCADA software that they probably should use. We will advise on, on some of the things that will work well with the next layer up from a data ops standpoint, but we're never going to sit there and tell them you guys need to use this PLC and this controller type and this, for that machine, that's never going to be where we are, and those are the pieces. You know, when you think of your MES layer stack, that's kind of the piece that we're dropping out, and that's where we're relying on our machine manufacturers and 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 everybody else who's more of an expert on that than us, anyways. You know, I don't necessarily want to get into control mechanisms. I just need to know what the data is. I need to be able to get the data and go. Interestingly, okay. So, so what you're saying? Oh, sorry. So uh, let me say this. So I, I want because I want to clarify for the audience. So the way I'm visualizing this, if you guys want to understand how this is architected is there imagine we took layer three which is the manufacturing execution layer and we broke it into two blocks so now mm -hmm. you've got l1 l2 l3 l4 l5 l5 being cloud right imagine you broke layer three into two blocks one is the block that ot is responsible for and that goes down to the plant floor and then one is a block that tom's group is responsible for and that's where kepware lives and what he's doing is he's aggregating all the edge data in this other L3 block using Kep server. Then he's using the IoT gateway to stream all that data directly into the crowd, bypassing L4 going directly into L5 for IT functions using Power BI and Power Apps to turn data into information. And then he's leaving an open space in the L in the L3 layer 
the where manufacturing execution would traditionally live for other people to worry about. That's what that's what he's doing here. Yep. To, to agree. There, there are a lot of, there are over, a lot of clients that are like this approach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Over time, though, we are moving more and more into that other block. Like, you know, there probably will be an eventually in a maintenance module that we'll have. And that'll be part of that block. And we may eventually take on some of the quality module and that'll be part of that block. And then and in that other block, there's also I mean, it's really kind of this, this soup of other stuff that's been thrown in there over the years, right? You know, we've got some right. ERP functions that are in there. You've got layer four stuff that's in there that people have gotten away with. So for us, we still need to take that back apart and put it into the right layers of things, right? You know, there's there's some oh, things that need to happen. 